position and wait for my go. Hi, uh, welcome everyone. Alright, so what we're going to do today is that uh, we are going to create new mockups uh, of packaging design, which is about the potato chips. Okay. Alright, so uh, what we're going to do today is that uh, you've done the design uh, usually using Illustrator and then we're going to import the design to Adobe Dimension and we can uh, create a mockup. So for those of you that are uh, not really good in 3D uh, software, Dimensions, Adobe Dimension is going to really help you in creating uh, those beautiful mockups uh, with beautiful lighting and it is look real and it's going to help you for those of you that is not familiar with 3d software all right so uh, first of all we have a design like this in adobe illustrator for example and then you do not need to export anything what you need to do is just save your uh, file accordingly and then we're going to import the file into adobe dimension okay so now uh, we are going to open adobe dimension which is looks like this and then we're we going to open a create a new file okay so uh, with adobe dimension they have a standard uh, preset 3d uh, uh, based on uh, usual mockups and uh, we have the standard tools and the properties uh, should be on the right okay so uh, with that maybe we can uh, set up a few of 3d object and then we can uh, make the smoke cups accordingly so first of all i was thinking uh, scroll down here they have a table over there with the cloth okay so maybe uh, we want to put the uh, packaging as a snack onto the uh, table okay so you put just uh, just click and drag from uh, the assets over there and then okay there you go there is your table with a cloth okay to move around in adobe dimension you can uh, click the middle of your mouse and then uh, you can see uh, how uh, the uh, to go left and right up and down if you want to move a toggle around of the adobe dimension uh, click an orbit tool click and drag you will be able to turn your camera around accordingly all right, so that would be the uh, some of the basic things in Adobe Dimension. All right, so uh, and then after that we're going to uh, put the uh, snacks. Okay, where is the snack? Which is the food bag over here? Okay, so there is a food bag, and then and you if you click on the select tool over here, there will be a uh, panel that uh, you see and then or you can click on the orbit and you can move around okay so that is your uh, okay so I'm just going to move it forward just click over here and then click uh, any of the axis to move around in your Adobe dimension okay click on orbit and then until you can see and place your uh, things nicely over there so that is the 3d object so now uh, we're going to apply it at the designs that you have done in adobe illustrator okay so uh, now we have our back uh, on the table and then uh, make sure you are facing the correct uh, space okay so this is not the correct one okay this is at the back so i'm going to uh, delete this item over here and uh, make sure you are facing the correct way okay so you can see the line over here which is the back of the to the front part okay a bit to the front part of the back okay so click on selection tool click on the area over there that you wanted to put the uh the the graphics double click if you want to make sure your selection and uh, you have uh, of like this okay click click over here on action okay click on the template designs and then if you place over there and then uh, on to the graphics over there okay and then what you can do is that make sure it is in the middle of the uh, the foot back and then you can resize accordingly until you feel from the top to the bottom right and then just click and drag until it was it is filled in nicely over there okay so once already done that and then uh, you can just click again 
uh, and then there you go you already successfully uh, place graphics onto the back okay so it looks from front to the back it looks nice for now and then what we're going to do is that we going to apply some texture onto the table make it looks real and we're going to uh, put some background uh, onto uh, the scene okay to put a uh, texture onto the tablecloth okay so what you can do is that each and every item or 3d object that have been placed onto the scene you can see it on the right at the scene over here so you can see over here the cloth on the table okay so it written over there and literally cloth on the table so we're going to give a bit of uh, some feel towards the, uh, the tablecloth over there so it gives some uh, better texture okay onto the cloth okay cloth on the table you can see you can you can open the scene and then uh, you can see a cloth uh, what is the texture that you want to put okay so how do you want to put this texture click on here on to the selection tool click on cloth okay and then you can apply it uh, you can double click on the cloth okay so you selected cloth and you can click action to put your uh, texture okay so what i would do is that i would use a standard a uh, texture that we have over here so if you scroll down uh, or you can click over here on the material it uh, stated over there what kind of material that it have okay so uh, or substances material so i will go down until i saw a uh, denim okay so it makes sense of the table cloth uh, use that so I'll just click and drag onto the tablecloth over there. So it will apply the texture uh, to the tablecloth. Okay, so apply texture denim. Okay, so you can make a setting. Uh, I want to reduce the roughness a little bit. Okay, and uh, click OK. So now you already applied the. Uh, okay, you already applied the some texture onto the cloth and what we're going to do now is that we're going to apply a background towards the scene okay to apply background is quite easy you just click over here just click on the background okay so uh, it will highlight over that environment so underneath over there uh, there is a background that you can uh, click onto and then just uh, select uh, on the uh, box over here click on the image and then you can import the image uh, from the computer so uh, this is the image examples that I have chosen which is a part so I can click open so that is uh, the background and okay so for the environment I would can click the match image and I think uh, I select multiple lights to make sure it is a uh, very clear in terms of the lights that were received by the uh, object over there okay so after that and we you can uh, uh, zoom in and zooming out using your uh, keyboard uh, sorry uh, your mouse to to make it closer and from here what you can do is that uh, if you have a lot another asset maybe you wanted to put uh, something else over there to uh to export our file uh, into a renderer so what we can do is that we can set up a camera setting first okay so you can uh, use uh, using orbit okay to however you wanted uh, your uh, scene to be okay for example you want it to be a face view like this a front face and then uh, you can move your uh, your scene accordingly so once you already move your scene accordingly you click over here on the camera bookmark so it will add a bookmark towards your renderer so you click on render so you can see over there that is uh, the scene that you have bookmarked from your previous uh, camera scene okay so for example the latest one is here you can uh, rename your file and then the quality uh, and then uh, you can also export to PSD file. Uh, you can edit all the uh, design in PSD. So, but uh, since I'm just going to stick to PNG, 
okay so png and then uh, click this file uh, the location of your uh, folder that uh, the output of the image so click a folder and then after you make all the selection with the view uh, the name of the file the quality of the image and uh, the pin uh, format for the image and the location just click on render and then just wait for a few uh, minutes until it is completely rendered and then we'll see the output okay so that is our rendering file so it looks good and the lighting is nice it have all the shadows the texture and the background okay so you uh, might want to try it will be a uh, dimension to, uh, for those of you that are not familiar with uh, 3d design so it will create a great mockups for you okay so have a good try have a nice day everyone stay safe and then i'll see you in the future